Hello everybody, Icecool Tech here, back again with a brand new video. Now today I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks to save battery life on iPhone. Before we get into the video, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from iSchool Tech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot and it's very appreciated. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 subscribers before Apple's WWDC 20 event in early June. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Now, the main reason I'm making this video is because of the major issues people are having with battery life on iPhone 7. Now, if you haven't seen my video regarding that, you can see it in the iCard right here. Now, this will of course apply to any device such as the iPad or iPod Touch, but I'll be targeting iPhone, specifically the iPhone 7. Now, these tips won't be applying as much for maintaining maximum battery capacity. However, if that's what you are here for, I will not leave you empty-handed. So let's get to the first and most obvious one, which is background app refresh. As you all know, background app refresh is a setting that allows apps to refresh their content in the background. This uses a lot of battery, especially when you have a ton of apps installed on your device. Now, in order to reduce background app refresh, we're going to go ahead into settings, general, background app refresh. Now you'll see a list of apps on this screen. You can disable or enable any apps that you want refreshing in the background here. Naturally, the more apps you have enabled, the more battery it will use, and the less apps, the less the battery will consume. So make sure to go through all of that. You can also choose when they're refreshing right here by selecting off to turn off all apps, Wi-Fi to refresh on Wi-Fi only, and Wi-Fi and cellular, which will refresh apps with Wi-Fi and cellular data. Next up is display and brightness. I'd recommend having your brightness on the lower side of the spectrum. You can also use auto brightness, which is enabled by going into your accessibility settings, display and text size, and scroll down to auto brightness. If you use an iPhone with an OLED panel like the iPhone 10, iPhone 10s, iPhone 10s Max, iPhone 11 Pro, or iPhone 11 Pro Max, I'd recommend enabling dark mode as blacks on the screen are made up by the pixels being turned off. This will save battery life. Next up, we're going to head into Siri and search. You'll scroll down and see a Siri Suggestions category. You can disable each app manually. This will also reduce background activity, saving battery life. Now, if you go back to the main settings page and scroll up and open the notification settings, you can select Siri Suggestions and disable all of those apps as well. We're gonna go back to the main settings page. Now, scroll down to Battery. Make sure to use the graphs and data in this section to determine what uses the most data. Now, tap Battery Health and turn on Optimized Battery Charging. This slows down the charging process to maintain your maximum battery capacity and will help in the long run. Next up is privacy. Scroll down until you see analytics and improvements. Disable share iPhone and watch analytics. You may also turn off improved Siri and dictation and share iCloud analytics as well. Go back to privacy and open the location service settings. Here you will manually reduce location tracking from specific apps. Of course, the less apps using location in the background, the less battery it will use. When you're done, scroll down to System Services. On this page, disable all of the services that you do not need. Scroll down to Product Improvement and disable any services you don't need there as well. When you're finished, go into Significant Locations. It will require Touch ID or Face ID. I highly advise you turn this off as it consistently tracks your exact locations. Clear the history and make sure to disable the feature. Now we're going to go ahead and go back to the main settings page. Here, you're going to select iTunes and App Store, and disable all automatic downloads. I recommend disabling video autoplay as well. You can select Wi-Fi only if you would like to have this feature turned on. Go back to the main settings page and open up Password and Accounts. Here you will select Fetch New Data and make sure to disable Push. You can then select every email you have set up and set it to Manual. When you finish, scroll down to Fetch and select Manually. This will reduce background activity significantly, especially if you have multiple emails set up to your device. That's all I have for battery life, however, I can't leave you off with nothing if you did come here for maximum battery capacity. Here are some tips. As I said earlier, enable optimized battery charging. You do not have to worry about charging your iPhone overnight as they do trickle charge. This means that the iPhone knows when it re reaches 100% and blocks it from charging further. It only lets a little power through to keep it at 100%. You should also never let your battery drain below 30% or higher than 90 I know that was a lot, but I hope it helped some of you out. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or find it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Do not forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord, link in the description down below as always. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.